Mate, I want to ask you, I know we've been talking for a bit and there's a million things I could ask you, but I do want to talk to you about one thing in particular, about leadership. So I, I'm, a, mm. I, I'm a real believer that we've got a real vacuum here at the moment, a void in, in genuine leadership, you know, and I, I, I think that you as a player grew over your time to become an iconic leader, uh, both at Leinster and um, for your country. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell a little story and then I'm going to ask you a, a question, I suppose. I, I coached a game once uh, for Leinster where Brian was playing and it was a game against Leicester, which is an English team. And I think it would have been in 2006, maybe. I'm not sure uh, exactly the date. And at that time, I had a bit of a thing going on where the players would put up, they, I had a bit of butcher paper put up behind each of the players, you know, in our very amateur style locking, locker rooms back then before a game. And players would write on the butcher paper with a marker pen, you know, what they're going to do for their teammates. So they, it's almost like making a contract between each other. This is what we're going to do for each other in this game. And Leicester was a big target because I think they'd given Leinster a hiding in a bit of a, in a European Cup match a couple of years earlier. So there was a bit of fear in there. And um, and I remember everyone had written something on their sheets and, you know, it wasn't obligatory, but everyone did it. To, and they were all looking at Brian's and um, he just left his blank, right? And, uh, and then we went out to warm up, still blank. And uh, I don't even know if you remember this story. And then he, he came back in the dressing room and just as the team was getting together for the team meeting, he got it so everyone was watching. He went, got his marker pen and wrote up on the butcher paper, follow me. And you didn't have to say another thing. You know, we went out there and, and demolished them out in, uh, in, um, at our, on our home track in Dublin. I just, I don't know if you remember that story, but it really struck me that day.